Hello everyone and welcome to our comprehensive guide on monitoring evaluation and research. The focus of our today video tutorial is to understand what is monitoring evaluation and research and what are the key components, what are the examples, how to improve monitoring evaluation and research. You watch the video till the end so you will learn a lot new ideas to improve your monitoring evaluation and research. So let's start first with monitoring. Monitoring is like keeping a finger on the pulse of your project. It is the regular and systematic collection of data that helps you track your progress. The main goal is to ensure that activities are on track, identify any issues early and provide information for informed decision making. So basically the definition of monitoring is the systematic and regular collection of data to track the progress of a project or an initiative or an activity. The purpose of monitoring is to ensure that activities are on track, identify issues and inform decision making. So that is the basic purpose of monitoring, why we do monitoring. For example, a health NGO tracks the number of patients Treat it monthly to ensure their health initiative is reaching its target. This is the example. So in the first slide, we discussed what is monitoring. Then we discussed its purpose. And this is the example like a health NGO or any NGO tracking. For example, if you have a capacity building program in place, how many participants were planned? how many participants have been trained. So that is monitoring. Now let's talk about evaluation. Evaluation on the other hand is a deeper dive. It's the systematic assessment of a project design, implementation and outcomes. Evaluations usually help us determine the relevance, efficiency, effectiveness, impact, and sustainability of the project. For example, in the previous slide, we monitored a training program or a health NGO is monitoring uh, the health service delivery in a hospital. Now, the evaluation will assess if it's a training, so how much the participant have learned, increase in their knowledge, or if it's related to health facility, service delivery, so how much the service deliveries has improved the lives of the people, or how much the service delivery was effective, relevant, efficient for the beneficiaries. So that is basically evaluation. For example, consider a job training program. So an evaluation might look at the employment rates of the participants six months after completing the training. This helps to assess whether the training was effective in improving their job prospects or not. This is just an example. It can be for any other activity or initiative also. For example, you have an intervention. You have an intervention that has been implemented. You are monitoring it, tracking the project progress, but then you need to evaluate whether the intervention was relevant, efficient, effective, impactful and sustainable or not so that is then evaluation we have already uploaded a detailed tutorial on evaluation also the link is given in the description you can watch that video also now let's talk about research research is a systematic investigation aimed at discovering new knowledge or validating existing knowledge it's essential for generating new insights supporting evidence-based decision and advancing knowledge in various fields. For example, you already have some training program or health intervention or education program, but you want some new insights to do some research, to obtain some insights about a different intervention or another intervention or activity or any uh, problem. So for that, you conduct research. For example, Conducting a study to understand the impact of remote learning on student performance during the COVID-19 pandemic. Study to understand whether the remote learning, the distant learning 
for student was effective or not impactful or not that can provide valuable insights into how effective remote learning is and how it can be improved while these monitoring evaluation and research all these concepts are interconnected with each other but they serve different purposes for example monitoring is an ongoing process that track progress only whether the training was provided or not whether an education activity was conducted or not that informed daily decisions whether our activities are on track targets are achieved evaluation is periodic it's not a routine overall performance to inform strategic decisions for example the training program has been conducted all targets have been achieved now let's evaluate whether it's in, uh, the objective has been achieved or not similarly research is a specific inquiry that generate new knowledge and inform our broader understanding so these are some differences between these three monitoring is ongoing track progress inform day to day decision evaluation is periodic evaluate overall performance inform strategic decisions while research is specific inquiry generate new knowledge informs broader understanding now let's recap whatever we discussed so far for example in monitoring evaluation in research we discussed its definition purpose example so this is monitoring now this is evaluation and here is research you can pause the video here discuss this if you are sitting in a group so you can discuss with your colleagues take your notes practice now we will discuss key components of monitoring after that we will discuss key components of evaluation and then key components of research components of monitoring there are indicators that you are tracking there are activities also and there are relevant indicators so there are metrics used to measure progress example number of patients treated monthly in a health program similarly another component is data collection methods that would be surveys interviews observations or routine data collection example using a weekly survey to gather in satisfaction data and then reporting regularly updates on progress example monthly progress reports sent to stakeholders components of evaluation in evaluation we focus on evaluation questions data collection method and analysis and interpretation so there are evaluation questions specific questions the evaluation aims to ask example how effective was the job training program and data collection method similar to monitoring but after more in depth example conducting detailed interviews with program participant beneficiaries then analysis and interpretation making sense of the data to draw conclusion example analyzing employment rates before and after the training to assess the impact now let's discuss key components of research for research the key components are the research question hypothesis methodology and analysis for instance what are the factors students performance in remote learning the hypothesis is a testable statement predicting the outcome such as students with stable internet connections perform better in remote learning environments methodology outlines the approach such as conducting surveys and focus groups with students and teachers analysis involves examining the data to validate or refute the hypothesis for example comparing the performance data of students with different levels of internet connectivity so far we discussed what is monitoring what is its purpose what are the examples then we discussed what is evaluation what is the purpose of evaluation and then we discussed the examples and similarly for research also what is research what is its purpose and the examples after that we discussed the key components of monitoring evaluation and research now we will discuss practical steps to improve monitoring and evaluation to improve your monitoring and evaluation we must set clear objectives for example aim to increase the employment rate of program graduates by 20% within one year develop smart indicator that are specific 
measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. An example would be the percentage of graduates employed within six months of completing the program. We use mixed methods to gather both qualitative and quantitative data, such as surveys to collect numerical data and interviews for in depth insights. Qualitative and quantitative. Finally, regularly review and adapt your process like conducting quarterly reviews of program performance and making adjustment based on the findings. Monitoring evaluation and research are essential components for success of any project that help us understand our program, make informed decisions and generate new insight. I encourage you to start implementing these practices in your projects today. If you visit our channel, you will find there lots of video tutorial on m &E, data analysis, studies and research. And in the m &E, you will find out how to do monitoring, how to do performance monitoring, how to develop project logic models, uh, theory of change, result framework, uh, logical framework and indicators. Similarly, uh, data collection through online tools. You will find there lots of tutorials to improve your skills related to monitoring evaluation, data analysis, data collection and project management. If you found this tutorial helpful, subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you for watching. Keep learning and improving. See you in next video.